Hello, today I'm going to show you the important ergonomics for an ophthalmologist in the operative room. I'm going to show you how to set and how to adjust the microscope to stop to surgery for ophthalmologists. Let's understand how to move the microscope. If the microscope is tough, don't push and pull forcibly. Scroll the knobs of the microscope so that you can move its articulations easier. Every articulation in the microscope has a different knob which controls its movement. And now let's see how to adjust the head of the microscope. First, press the centralization button which helps the microscope to get to the neutral state. Then, adjust the interpupillary distance which is the distance between the two oculars. After that, adjust the height of the oculars. Then, you can adjust the refraction on the oculars according to your glasses. And now, let's move to the steps. First, adjust the chair. Sit on the chair and adjust its height so that you can be comforted. Your back has to be erect and not bent. After that, put your feet on the foot pedals and then readjust the height of the chair. This is how you should be sitting. Your knees should be bent at a slightly obtuse angle than 90 degrees. Second, adjust the table. Start adjusting the height of the table so that your hands can reach the eyes of the patient in a comfortable way. You can also adjust the height of the head of the table. If the patient is dysnic, elevate the head of the table and then reduce the height of the whole table so that your hands can reach his eyes comfortably. However, the dead horizontal position is the best to work with. This is how your elbow should be looking like at the end of these adjustments. Third, adjust the patient's head. Get the head of the patient as close as possible to you. Then, move his chin up and down so that the patient can be comforted and you can get the best view. And now, adjust the microscope. Move the microscope, push the centralization button and readjust the interpupillary distance. And then, move the microscope up and down until you are focused. After you are focused, move the oculars up and down until your neck is comforted. Don't get the oculars too low or too high. This is how your neck should be looking like at the end of these steps. And now let's see how your position should be looking like in the end. This is the final view. Your chin is parallel to the floor. Your neck is not bent. Your back is erect. Your knee is making a slightly obtuse angle and your ankle is comforted to press on the foot pedals. Your hands are reaching the eyes of the patient comfortably and your elbow is bent at about 90 degrees. 
These ergonomics are very important to be comforted while doing your job. Moreover, this will help you to avoid any injuries in your neck and back while repeating these movements over years. Thanks a lot for watching.